Well, good morning, everybody. You are looking at some very old Tom Daniel kits uh, from back in the day. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. Uh, uh, today is uh, hopefully going to be a, a good day for my family. Uh, they're going to try to get my daughter off the ventilator today. She's been on the ventilator for two weeks now. And um, I started to get worried. You know, it can do damage to her vocal cords. And um, they worry about infections. just not a good thing. So we're hoping to get her off that thing today. So uh, keep my family in your thoughts and prayers. I appreciate it. And everything you guys all are. The nice emails and the comments and stuff from you guys is really appreciated. But uh, anyway, get back to model kits. So um, I had a huge Tom Daniel collection uh, back. Um, well, really, I started collecting in the 80s all the way through the 90s. And I had every kit except two. And those two were the, uh, the Vampire, which was... Uh, um, a variant of one of the big chopper, the Top Chop kit, um, which was originally yellow with graphics. Uh, it had like split front tires on it. Uh, I didn't have uh, that, and I didn't have the uh, Satan Cycle, which was the al alternate version of the King Chopper. <coughs> Those are the only two kits I didn't have, um, either boxed or built. Um, so I had everything, and a lot of things I had multiples of. Some things I had four and five of, uh, like the little snap kits. I, I had tons of those. But uh, when I started building my hot rod back in 2000, um, I got rid of, of, you know, the majority of my collection back then. I kept my built ups and a few unbuilt. Um, but, you know, at that time, uh, there wasn't a lot of stuff being reissued. Those kits were going for huge amounts of money. And, um, you know, it, it was good. It, I mean, it enabled me between that and selling a lot of my Hot Wheel collection. Uh, it really helped me you know, put a lot of money on my hot rod and um, build that car. So no regrets, you know. Uh, and fortunately, over the years since then, we've had a lot of those kits have been reissued. Uh, so I've been able to pick up the reissues and have those kits back again. Uh, especially the King Chopper. I'm just blown away that they reissued that. I'm so, so happy to have that again. I have my original kit um, in a glass case next to my bed on the nightstand. As a kid, that was the very last model that I had uh, when I became a teenager and, and was surfing and doing cars and everything else. And, you know, and girls were in the picture, you know, all that good stuff. So, um, I kept that kit forever. Uh, I had built it when I was probably 11, 12 years old, you know, so that one hung in there and finally sometime in high school, I think it got knocked off the nightstand and destroyed. I kept the vulture for a long time and it finally disappeared, but uh, good memories of that. So um, my good friend AJ Cicerelli um, helped me. He had an extra one of the kits uh, that probably back maybe in the uh, I don't know, probably in the early 90s sometimes, and uh, he offered it to me, which was really cool, because he gave me a great price on it. Um, at that time, they were going for massive amounts of money, so, you know, but it, it, it's nice, and I appreciate it so much, and I did an extra good job building it. It's shot in candy purple. I did all the body work on it, and uh, it's just still one of my prized possessions, and it, it's been in that glass case next to my bed ever since I finished it, so and I've taken it to some shows back when I was showing models and uh, always got lots of attention it's just a really cool model but uh, uh, so anyway um, so what I dug out today to show you guys uh, of course the sand crab um, this is one of my favorites and you, you just don't see these built up very often um, original decals uh, of course this original issue this was before they chopped it up and made it into uh, the little van um, type thing. I had a little van back on it. Of course, the green glass. Um, the only thing that's not out of the kit is I added the figure. I think it's a Tamiya figure from back in the day. So, but uh, and I covered the base with uh, I think some of that railroad sand. You know, you can see it's starting to come off there a little bit. But I always loved this thing. I had shot this. This is rattle can paint, but it was some type of lacquer model paint that I'd gotten a hold of back in the day. I don't remember who even made it, but uh, got a pretty good finish on it. Sounds like my television just came on out there in the front room. 
We've had uh, no internet, no TV service. Spectrum's been down. It was supposed to be down until noon today, but looks like they got it up. It's 8.30 in the morning. It looks like they've got it back up and running. So anyway, sand crab, uh, another favorite, uh, the iced tea. Again, I think I built this probably back in the 90s. Um, this is rattle can paint, but it's really smooth. And honest, I think this is just regular old uh, testers yellow. Um, looks like I used some of the red line uh, rub on transfers to put red lines on the front. Kind of give it that hot wheel look. Uh, I did do plug lines in there. I think it's got a little mill distributor in there and uh, some plug lines. I've got the headlights in the open position. Those headlights open and close. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty much box stock. I think I, I added a little chains, real chain back here instead of, I think the kit came with some plastic chain, but I added real chains to it. I always like this one though. Just got a nice look to it. Now, looks like the decals are starting to yellow after 30 years. They're starting to get a little yellow on the edges, but yeah, anyway, so these two fun builds. Um, and I've got, you know, they came out with these old die casts here not too long ago. And they did, uh, oops, sorry guys, this, this version, which was kind of a pearl yellow. And then they did the rat rod version, which I've got back here. You can see that company's now defunct, but uh, I grabbed up, I had all these in large scale too. I sold a lot of them off. I've got a few of them left. Uh, but I kept the ones that I really like, you know, so anyway, so that's, that's those guys. Um, and uh, several of you have asked to see some of my older builds. So uh, there was a couple more for you, a couple of Dom, Tom Daniel kits. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say today. So anyway, just a little short to, uh, keep things rolling and, um, I'll post up some more stuff here later in the week. I'm trying to just kind of get back on track. I'm still just really exhausted. We're spending so much time running back and forth to the hospital. I'm really run down. So uh, there's the phone now, somebody calling. So I will end it here. I will see you again in a few days. Uh, you guys all have a good day and uh, I'll see you again real soon.